Let's discuss solve problem 1 on asymptotic notations. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the solve problem on asymptotic notations. Let's see the problem. The problem is, let fn is n square log n and gn is n times log n to the power 10. These two are the positive functions of n. Which of the following statements is correct? These are the statements and we need to identify the correct statement. The first statement is fn equal to big O of gn and gn not equal to big O of fn. The second statement is gn equal to big O of fn and fn not equal to big O of gn. The third statement is fn not equal to big O of gn and gn not equal to big O of fn. And the fourth statement is fn equal to big O of gn and gn equal to big O of fn. We can observe in these statements, we need to check whether one function is asymptotically bigger than the other function or not. We need to check whether one function is big O of the other function or not. This means big O notation is what we are going to focus on. Here we have fn equal to n square log n and gn equal to n times log n power 10. We need to compare these two functions and we need to check which of these two functions is big O of the other function. Let's try to find this out. So here comes the solution to this problem. We know fn is n square log n and gn is n times log n to the power 10. Now let's try to compare these two functions to find out which of these functions is big O of the other function. Here we have n square log n and here we have n times log n power 10. What do you think? Which one is bigger? Comparing these two functions at this moment is quite difficult. So, in order to compare these two functions, we will now simplify them. Here we have n square log n and here we have n times log n power 10. n is common in both these functions. So, we can remove n from both these functions. We will be left with n times log n in fn and here we will be left with log n power 10. So, after simplification, fn is n times log n and gn is log n power 10. Now, what to do next? Still, the comparison is difficult. So, we will further simplify these two functions. We can observe in fn we have log n and in gn also we have log n. So, log n is common in both these functions. We can remove log n from both these functions. After removing log n from fn, we will be left with n and in gn, we will be left with log n power 9. Previously, it was log n power 10. Now, it is log n power 9 because we have removed one log n from this function. Now, we have the simplified versions of fn and gn fn is equal to n after simplification and gn is equal to log n power 9. Now let's compare these two functions. Can we do the comparison at this stage? Yes. There is no further simplification possible and at this moment we can compare these two functions. Here we have n and here we have log n power 9. n is clearly greater than log n power 9 because n is the polynomial function and log n power 9 is the logarithmic function and the growth rate of polynomial functions is higher than the growth rate of logarithmic functions. We know this from our discussion on functions in asymptotic notations. So, we can say n is greater than log n power 9 and hence we can say fn is greater than gn. Or we can say that gn is big O of fn. Hence, we cannot say that fn is big O of gn, but we can say that gn is big O of fn. This is according to the definition of the big O notation. So, it is clear that fn is asymptotically bigger than gn, but gn is not asymptotically bigger than fn. Therefore, gn is big O of fn and fn is not big O of gn. Hence, 
option b is the correct option so with this i hope it is clear how to solve these type of problems we learned how to compare two functions we always need to simplify functions for comparison and then we can come to the conclusion which function is asymptotically bigger than the other function in this way we can solve these type of problems so with this i hope the problem is clear okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one